Hey everyone, Dr. Nussi from EasyDOTPhysicals.com back again with another video. In this video, I want to discuss the hope for a wider adoption of the 5 milligrams of THC dosing standard in cannabis research. This is an idea that's been around for five or so years now, so I want to discuss that actual proposal, the five milligram standard, who currently uses it, and why this is so important. And as always, before I get into it, if you are concerned with an upcoming drug test and testing positive for marijuana specifically, I will leave links in the description box to my preferred home THC test that has the same cutoff level as a standard drug test, and it also comes with the free course that I teach on the platform Teachable so that you are best prepared to actually pass a drug test, again, specifically for THC marijuana. Both of those links in the description box below. All right, so all the way back in 2018, the National Institute of Drug Abuse, the NIDA, realized a need in cannabis research for a national dosing standard. So in May of 2021, the NIDA, along with the National Cancer Institute, the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and the National Institute of Mental Health, published a notice in the National Institute of Health Guide directing researchers funded by these institutes to measure and report their findings from clinical research on cannabis using a standard unit of Delta-9 THC of five milligrams. So if research is performed on cannabis and funded by one of these institutes, one of these organizations, they must use this five milligram of THC dosing standard. So they go on to mention that other substances like alcohol, morphine, tobacco, they already have national standards for dosing when research is performed on one of these other substances. But because cannabis is still a Schedule I substance, the same dosing standard has not been established. So there is no established dosing standard for marijuana because the research is very, very tightly controlled, very, very limited because, again, of its illegal Schedule I status. So there is an established five milligram of THC dosing standard that these organizations at least use. And if you are funded by one of these organizations, you have to use as far as cannabis research goes. And they're hoping for a wider adoption of this five milligram of THC standard for research in, on cannabis across the board. So why is this so important? So why does it even matter? So this is something that, that hits home personally for me because a lot of my videos, and especially the most popular videos that I make, are on THC detection times, detox times, that kind of thing. So uh, again, since a lot of my videos are on times and I try to use research to justify the timetables that I give, the problem is the research is very, very lean at this point. There's not a lot of it. And th again, the doses are all over the board when it comes to different research articles. So a lot of times I am kind of guesstimating these timeframes using, using the information that I have, but also a lot of times just using my experience, again, running a drug testing collection site now for years. So this probably seems obvious, but let's say we're doing a research study on how long, again, it takes to detox from marijuana, and we use a dose like one joint or one hit or something like that. Well, these doses are basically scientifically invalid because obviously the size of a joint can vary greatly and maybe uh, the size of a joint in the study has nothing to do with what's happening in the real world or, or varies greatly from the person that's trying to glean information from that research study. And also, and quite obviously, the concentration of THC in cannabis can vary greatly. Whereas if we had a standard for THC specifically, a person would simply need to know how much THC they consumed. Of course, things like body fat percentage, activity, et cetera, will affect testing time, but at least we would have a standard for the consumption. And then cannabis effects can also be dependent on the delivery method. So inhaling, for instance, can be quite different from edibles. So the article 
goes on to state that fortunately in some states, this five milligram of THC is already the standard serving size in edible products. So the bottom line here is that as of the posting of this video, marijuana is still a schedule one substance illegal in the United States. And because of this, the research on marijuana is very, very limited and very, very tightly controlled. So there has been no wide adoption of any dosing standard for THC. So if and when marijuana is either rescheduled to schedule three or descheduled, hopefully there will be a wider adoption in research of a standard THC dose. And I think the five milligram THC dose makes a lot of sense. As always, I will keep you updated whenever new information comes out. Stay subscribed here. And until next time, everybody, stay safe.